Let's go see if AI can help me plan my next backpacking trip. What's going on you guys? My name is Thomas Copley. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time checking out my channel, I appreciate you stopping by. I make videos on backpacking, on backpacking gear, on hiking, camping, basically anything else that's awesome outside. So in today's video, I figured that I would go along with this AI trend that's going around and try something a little bit different. In a few weeks, I'm going to be going backpacking in the Great Smoky Mountains of Eastern Tennessee. And so I figured I would see if Google Bard, which is Google's artificial intelligence system, I would see if Google Bard could help me plan out my trip. So with that, let's not delay any further. Let's go find out if robots are any good at camping. All right, so the first thing that I figured I'd ask Google Bard is about the location. So I'm gonna see if he has any recommendations for like where to park and what the trail is about, how it is, what it looks like, and stuff like that. So I'm planning to go to uh, Gregory Bald, at least that's like one of the locations I plan to see along this trip, and I want to access this um, via 20 mile loop. All right, so here we are, we have uh, Google Bard. And so I'm gonna just, first of all, I guess, ask him if he can even help me at all with this. Um, I'm sure he's gonna say that he can. Awesome, okay, so sure. So he's gonna give me some things here. He's got uh, choose your destination, itinerary, gear that I need. He has a little list here of the gear I need. Uh, get in shape, <laughs> uh, leave no trace, have fun. Awesome, okay. So now I'm gonna ask him about that location thing. So I'm looking into hiking Gregory Bald uh, via 20 mile trail, and I wanna see what he's gonna say. She, he, I, I don't really know. Awesome, uh, North Carolina, it's rated right strenuous, takes eight hours to complete. Of course, this is just the section of Gregory Bald he's talking about, not the entire loop that I plan on doing. So he's just gonna give me some information here. Um, leave no trace, map, compass, uh, lunch and snacks. Okay, so I'm gonna ask him about parking now, because parking's always hard, and you never know where you can park if you have to park on the side of the road or whatever, so I'm gonna ask this. Um, where can I park to access this 20 mile trail? And see what he has to say, because if he helps me out with this, this might actually be really helpful. 20 mile trailhead is located near 20 mile ranger station, which is located off North Carolina Highway 28, about 10 miles west of Darbyville, North Carolina. Directions, so he's gonna give me directions to the ranger station, and then there's a small, uh, yes, yeah, so he's gonna give me directions to the ranger station, there's a small parking lot trail at the end there. Okay, so that's actually really helpful because, you know, that's one of the hardest things for me is knowing, okay, is there parking at the trailhead, is there parking a little way down the road at the trailhead, so. Okay, so now I'm going to ask him um, about some park regulations to help me, you know, clear it out. It's a little bit different for parks, and I know there's a lot, you know, um, of different ones at different parks, but if you can help me narrow it down for the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, that would help out a lot, so. Okay, there's a few regulations you should be aware of before you hike Gregory Bald via 20 mile trail. Uh, these are in place to protect, okay, it'll be, yeah, it's those basic stuff, but pack out all trash, stay on trail, aware of your surroundings, signs, instructions, so. It looks like he just gave me a, a general overview there. I'm gonna ask him about specifically backcountry um, permits for camping, and this is something that's often required at national parks or even some state parks. Um, I'm going to ask him if they are required for uh, this park in particular. I'm sure they are. I know they are actually, but let's see what he says. Yes, backcountry permit is required overnight camping to reserve the f free. It says they're free, which is not the case. Um, yeah, so it says some basic steps here, but then it says that backcountry permits. The backcountry permits are free, and that is not true at all. Um, not that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure I checked it already. And then down here it says pay the per permit fee, so it's like kind of contradicting himself. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to go to their website. And what I'm going to do is when I'm at their website, I'm going to look up um, from them specifically the backcountry permit stuff so I can figure out, like, just to show you guys that it is actually, you do have to pay for it, which I'm sure you guys believe me, but... It's just, it's interesting. So here we are at the actual site, and even highlighted, it says general backcountry permit fees are $8 per person per night with maximum fee of $40 per person per night. So you can see right here that uh, the AI got it a little bit wrong. Unless he was taking that from something else he meant about, I don't know. But you can see right here that they, they, they do cost you money. All right, so now I'm gonna ask him about parking uh, tags. I know a lot of state parks and national parks are requiring this now, um, specifically the Smoky Mountains now do. So I'm gonna ask him about a parking tag and see what he says about the requirements for that one. And hopefully he, Hopefully he gets this one right. Yes, Smoky Mountains. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is what I saw before uh, when I've done some research before asking Bard. So yeah, daily, weekly, annual. So yeah, I mean, that's good that he got that one right. 
and I'm going to show you by going to uh, their website once again that this is true and they do require this. So yeah, here's their uh, here's their website about parking tags, daily, weekly, annual, same thing like Bard said. So he got that right for purchasing options. And then here's the online uh, and printing version, which is through recreation.gov, which is the website they use. Um, most parks use to deal out this parking tag, but you can see that the Bard got it right that time. So good job. Good job, Bard. All right, so now I'm going to ask him a question I know the answer to already, but let's just see what he says about this. I'm going to ask him, can I camp anywhere on the trail? Um, or, like, do I have to do it in, like, designated um, camp spots? So let's see what he says. I know the answer to this already because almost everywhere requires it. Okay, so, yeah, you got this right. No, you cannot camp anywhere on the trail. Uh, and then it provides the reasons why you have to uh, camp where they are allocated. And then um, that you need the backcountry permit and stuff like that. So that's good that he got that right. All right, so now I'm gonna ask him something very specific uh, to the Smoky Mountains. A lot of parks have bears, but um, the Smoky Mountains are known for having a decent amount of bears. So I'm gonna ask him about some bear safety tips uh, in the Great Smoky Mountains and, and just see what he has to say about this, um, if he has anything profound to say. <laughs> All right, uh, make noise while hiking, hike in groups, hang your food and toiletries in a bear-proof canister, at least 10 feet off the ground for food from a tree trunk. Don't leave food and stuff behind. Beware of your surroundings. Um, if you see a bear, don't run. Awesome. Okay, so those are some good tips there. By far not all the tips. You can check it out in more detail on the park website. But, you know, this is good that he gives some general help. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask him to create me an actual packing list. Uh, I'm going to ask him if he can create me a backpacking, like, a checklist for all my gear and see if he you know, suggest too much stuff, or he's, if he doesn't suggest enough stuff, and I'm going to kind of see here. So, let's see what he has to say. Alright, so, we've got hiking boots, shoes, hiking socks, pants, shirt, jacket, rain jacket, sun hat, sun hat, I don't bring a sun hat, but maybe he just needs a regular hat, sunglasses, bandana, uh, gloves, underwear, socks, swimsuit, towel, backpack, tent, sleeping bag, sleeping pad, stove, fuel, cookware, utensils, water bottle, hydration pack, water filter, purifier, first aid kit, sunscreen, insect repellent, toilet paper, trowel, Trash bags, uh, flashlight or headlamp, map, compass, uh, I use backcountry, um, on X backcountry, whistle, there's a whistle there, <laughs> knife, multi repair kit, camera, phone, charger, snacks, trail mix, energy bar, beef jerky, he's getting very specific here, granola bar, nuts, fruit, yeah, you know, I like to bring my watermelons with me too, um, permits, if required, cash, ID, insurance card, contact information, book or magazine, journal, or newspaper, uh, notepaper, notebook, pen, pencil, camera, phone, charger, snacks, trail mix, energy bar, he's kind of repeating himself there, that's okay. Basic backpacking list, you may need to add or remove items depending on the length of your trip, time of year, weather and conditions. Okay, at least he says that, you know, so like, I was about to say that, you know, this is a whole lot of extra stuff you don't really need. Um, he probably has almost everything you do need, but um, he has too much, for sure. Um, so, you know, I'm just kind of, it's a good thing that he at least mentioned that, uh, you know, you don't need to bring everything on that list. Because if you brought everything on the list, you'd be at like 40 pounds. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask him if he personally likes backpacking. Uh, just see what he says. I, I know that he's a robot, but let's see here. Do you personally enjoy backpacking, Bard? I do not personally enjoy backpacking because I'm a large language module and have a physical body. Uh, it's a great way to exercise. If I were able to backpack, I would definitely give it a try. <laughs> so, hey, uh, it's okay, buddy. I'll do it for you, and you still uh, help me out a little bit on my planning. Now I'm going to say thank you. Let's see what he says. I'm just kind of having fun at this point. You're welcome. I hope you have a wonderful time backpacking in the Great Smoky Mountains. That's so nice of him. So obviously, you know, uh, AI is a new tool that's coming out, and it's uh, it's blowing up all over the internet. So I figured I'd make a video about it, and it's useful for a lot of things. Uh, I don't think it's ever going to be able to replace everything that humans do, um, for sure. So you know, you can use this kind of to help you brainstorm. I'd probably say just use AI to help you brainstorm for a trip rather than just uh, using it as like the final say. Always check the website for sure to make sure there wasn't any messes ups like that. Got some information confused uh, about the backcountry permit. You know, so check um, in person. Check with your own research outside of just using AI, but AI is by far a really great tool to make use of to brainstorm some ideas and stuff like that. Um, let's see here, say hi to my viewers. Let's see, uh, there he does, say hi to my viewers. Sure, I'd be happy to say hi to your viewers. Hi everyone, I'm Bard, a, long, a large language model from Google AI. I'm here to help you with your questions and requests. Thanks for watching. Yeah, he said it perfectly right there. Thank you guys for watching this, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.